I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. <laughs> You'll be wondering, I'm always wearing these uh, jerseys and I can wear one. I do these videos in sequence within a space of a few hours. And um, once I wear one, I just use that one to do the videos. At least I know some people who just wear one kind of attire to do their comedy skits and all that. I had a laundry bill of 12,000 this morning, 12,000 laundry bill. And if I don't take care, I can accumulate laundry bill of close to 50,000 naira. And in this economy, you must reduce, you must reuse, reduce and reuse. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I did a video before now about Dr. Alex Oti, the governor of Abia State. And I said that he was not a normal person. Somebody who removed food from his own mouth is not a normal person. He could have preserved the status quo so that when he leaves office, he will enjoy pension like the other people. But he said he's already a billionaire and that his children are billionaires. I don't know if, I, if I'm correct. He doesn't want salary or allowances. He just wants to serve. And that's why he is abnormal like his principal, Obi. But Nigeria should be grateful to one woman, Professor Nenna. Oti, the Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Oweri Futo. She was the electoral officer in Abia State in the last elections. He was pressurized, he was threatened, he was offered money. But she said she had run the riot, um, read out the riot act. The votes must be counted, no rigging, no compromise. Even though they tried to manipulate, she stood her ground and Alex Oti was declared winner. I remember how long Alex Oti had been contesting elections. In Abia State, but this time, this woman made it possible. Imagine the development that has come so far. Imagine the development that is going to come. Imagine the export free uh, trade zone in Awaza that is coming on steam, on stream. Imagine the, the geometrics power station that is coming up. And suddenly, all the eastern state governors are picking up. Imo State is dredging the Guta Lake. They are dredging um, the Orashi River to the Atlantic. And then containers will come towards um, in inland. And power plants are about to be completed in different states. And the east will just suddenly open up. Open up. And trust my people there with their, their enterprising nature, their skills, that place will just be another Dubai within Nigeria. And within a short while, the, the flying geese developmental theory, flying geese, go and Google it, flying geese developmental theory, that when development came to Japan, went into South Korea, went to Taiwan, like that, like that. So with the eastern part of Nigeria springing up, Delta State will follow. River State had already been doing quite well. Akwa Ibom will follow. Cross River had done quite well. Like that, like that, before you know it, it will spread around this country. Because one woman stood her ground. Just like Dora Akonjeli, one woman stood her ground. And lots of lives were saved from fake and counterfeit drugs. This country is where it is. 
Africa is where it is because the government shall be upon his shoulders. It's not only Jesus Christ. The government is upon my shoulder. It's upon your shoulder. Light your little light in the darkness that is in Africa and Africa will be lit up. Stand your ground where things are supposed to be done normally and you will see that this country, this continent will change. God bless Professor Nana Oti. God bless all credible Africans. God bless Dr. Alex Oti. The revival that Obi started, that the obedient movement propelled, can never be stopped in this country again. You keep going on, a new standard has come. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Join this wagon of redevelopment, re re recalibration of our values and governance. God bless you. Send me a message on plus 234-7052-136763 and register for the conference that is coming up on Easter Monday by sending a message to me. The same number, plus 234 I will send you a flyer. God bless you.